Hey, super scientists, this is Mrs. Doan here. And uh, today I'm gonna to be demonstrating a bird beak activity. So as you're learning this week, birds have um, adaptations with their beaks. Uh, to, so that way they could eat particular foods. So you have like tearing beaks. Those are the ones with like a, they're sharp and they usually have a curved hook. Um, then you have long beaks, short beaks, uh, pointed beaks, and then usually the short ones are more like blunt, meaning that they're not as sharp. And it just all depends on um, what that bird's diet is and they adapt, their adaptation is with what their beak is like. So right here I had made these little model birds, you know, that made out of um, clothes pin, yeah, this is called clothes pin, and then I took popsicle sticks and I made a little short one, and then I added feathers just to make it cuter, and then I also did the same thing except this is a long beak. I used two full um, length popsicle sticks. I have these little guys, these little beads to represent seeds. And then I have cotton balls to represent bugs. And then these little uh, juice cups represent the bird's stomach. And then I also set up a timer on my computer so that way to collect data. Now there's the same amount, so two, four, six, eight, ten, ten beads, and two, four, six, eight, ten cotton balls. So I am so I had two different types, but the same number. All right, and now we're gonna see if we can figure out which beak works best for which kind of um, which kind of food. So the one that is more effective, meaning it takes less time to collect the same number of items will, that would be its most like purpose. So this is the point where you could create a hypothesis about which one you think would be, um, matched, or is there a chance that they both could be, um, good for one and not the other. So let's find out. So I'm going to start my timer. Well, first I'm going to get my first bird ready. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do the seeds and with the short beak. Ready, set, go. So I'm going, oh. I'm also picking them up one at a time. Oh, did I not get it? Oh. Oh. That little seed is being tricky. And done. So that was 39 seconds. 52 milliseconds. So I'm going to write it down. This would be a good time for me to have a my science notebook. So we're just going to keep it at seconds. So 39 seconds. And that was... Short beak. So SB. Long beak making my table and that's we're gonna do b for beads and c for cotton okay so that's what it looks like for me now we're going to uh, now take the same beak first we're going to reset our stopwatch and we are going to stick with short beak and we are going to do the cotton balls, which remember represent the bugs. So ready, go. 
and can't I can't cheat by doing more than one. Oh, that, I flung that one in there. Should have gotten a bigger stomach for the cotton balls. But I didn't want to have multiple variables. And done. So I did a little better. That's 38 seconds. So I'm going over here. 38 seconds. And I, yeah. There. All right, so that short beak. Put short beak away. Put the see the bugs and the seeds back. And now reset our stopwatch. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the long the long beak bird. And let's see here. Ready, set, go. I feel like I have to be extra careful with this one, being more precise. Oh, that one slipped out. Oh. And time. So I got 42 seconds that time. All right, so 42 seconds for long beak for the beads. And now we're gonna reset the timer or stopwatch. And we're gonna do our bugs. Ready, set, go. Stop. So that is twenty nine seconds. All right. So looking at my results, my conclusion would be that the short beak is probably a seed eater because it only took them 39 seconds where it took 42 for long beak and then for the and that the long long beak bird probably eats bugs because it only took 29 seconds for it to eat 10 of the cotton balls which represent bugs all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that and um let me know if you do this at home bye guys